What's good, creators? Check this out. So I'm recording directly in Canva using Canva's presentation feature. And of course, we're going to take a look at it right now. Now, once you're on Canva's homepage, you can go to the icon on the header, or you can also uh, find it on the thumbnails below. And alternatively, if you type in and search presentation, you're going to get various options like presentations in four by three, talking presentations, mobile presentations. You might want to check those out later on. Obviously the interface is just like everything else in Canva and we're going to take a look at the various templates. Now, if we were to scroll down where the templates are, you have various categories like simple presentations, educational, fun presentations, uh, so many different categories, or you could even try searching something specific. This particular one I search for social media and uh, one of the things I want to point out with the templates when you hover over them it shows you how many slides that template has. So you see this very top one it's got 10 slides on it and it tells you at the bottom right corner this one as well. Uh, these ones with the play button are videos. So this one has 25 slides. Now once you click on the template, it's going to reveal all the various slides that come with this template. We're going to use only like three or four of them just for demonstration purposes only. To import these, you could just click on the slide and it'll import it automatically. You can add an extra slide page down here on this thumbnail by clicking on the plus button, but it gives it just the background. Or alternatively, you can slide the slide into the add page area there and it'll automatically add it to your next page. So we're going to put in a couple more here. So we'll get into the design aspect afterwards, but I really want to show you how the presentation feature actually works. So if you look at the top right corner, you're going to see an icon that says present. You want to head over there, click on it, and then you're going to have three different options. You have standard, autoplay, and presenter view. And we're going to look at these three very quickly go ahead and click present. So here we are in presentation view. You won't see that little thing in the middle with the uh, recording controls. That's my screen recorder. I just didn't bother moving it. <laughs> And basically the standard view works like your typical PowerPoint controls. You can use the arrow keys to move forward and backwards, uh, as well as a space bar to advance. So it's pretty standard. Now, obviously, if we choose autoplay, you can see that you can select how long the slides play for. I'll change mine to four seconds and and as we present this, you're going to see automatically the slides are going to change every four seconds. So that's how that works. And then the last option is presenter view. This is typically the view you want to be if you're presenting from a laptop. And in this space, this is where you have the most control to various options. And on the right, you see here under notes, you can add little notes for yourself. If you have, you know, some point form points that you want to address. So you can type anything here. And these are great for enhancing the points you're making with your slides because your slides are more for the visual appeal and you don't want it to have too much text. Another cool option here is Canva Live. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. We'll get back to that. Now in the top corners here, you see there's an X and that basically takes you out of the presentation view. This little keyboard icon right beside it are little shortcut keys for various controls. You can even have shortcut keys here for some sound effects. Uh, let's try out drum roll. Mm -hmm. 
that's a pretty cool drum roll. Then of course you have a pause button here if you wanted to pause the slide for some reason. And then right beside it is the presentation timer reset. Now back to the design tips that I wanted to mention. I encourage you to do the color changes last. Like if you're designing this from scratch or even using a template, do all your animations and add your elements and all your designs per slide first and then change the colors last. Because the reason is, uh, if I change this background, for example, to this blue color, uh, it'll give you an option to change all the slides to the same color. So as you see here, now that uh, I've clicked change all, all the background of this slide is this color blue. And that works similar for text as well. And the other point I wanted to make was most of these slides are pretty static. So you want to give some effects and animations just to liven it up a little bit more. You know, people respond to visual animation, visual movement more than static images. And that's why I really love Canva for its really easy use of built-in animations. So you want to also include those in your designs to give it some life. Now if we look at the top corner here under the three buttons, you're going to see some options. Uh, again, to present, to download, present and record, which we'll talk about in a minute, and share a link. You know, you can share this link to people via email or, you know, post it on your community tab on YouTube or whatever the case might be. And they will have access to this very presentation. And you have more options to share this on your website or even download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint. And of course, you can print a PDF hard copy as well. So now let's take a look at present and record. So again, we're gonna click on those three buttons and select present and record. You're gonna get this option, go to recording studio. Once you click on that, you're going to get this box showing your face if your camera's hooked up. Now, don't mind that the audio is not matching what you see because I had to <laughs> re-record this. I was having technical difficulties. But you have two options there to select your camera if, you know, you use different cameras for, for whatever reason. And you also have audio options if you have different gear hooked up. And then you also have the levels of your audio. Now, all you have to do is click on start recording you get a little three second countdown. Now you're gonna see me at the bottom left in that little round bubble. Now the only thing about this feature is you don't have control over where this little circle is and how big it is. This is a really cool feature from Canva. I, I, he got me on this one. I was like, what? <laughs> That's pretty badass. I, I really like that. In the top corner, you see that you can pause and end the recording. When you click on end recording, it's going to automatically upload to their server. Now, once that's completed, you can, it gives you an option to copy a link of the presentation. As I mentioned before, you can save and exit, or you can download it directly to your computer onto your hard drive. Earlier, I mentioned Canva Live. And what I want to do is show you how that works as well. So right beside notes, you're going to see this icon Canva live, and you're going to see this option, start new session. And what this does, it gives you an invitation code. So whether it's through email or social media, your community tab on YouTube, you just have to instruct your viewers to head to canva.live and give them this code. So here I am on my mobile device and I simply go to my browser and type in canva.live. I'm going to enter that code 237984 and it's going to lead me to this screen. 
here at the bottom, you'll see I have a little dialogue box where I can chat with the presenter. Now, if you look back on the presenter view here, you're going to see the chat come up here. <laughs> That's supposed to say hello, Jello, not hell, hello. <laughs> now, if I were to click on the comment, it would be displayed on the presentation for anyone that's viewing it to see. So I'm pretty impressed with this presentation feature within Canva. The recording feature is a really nice touch and the ability to have people chat with you live is a great way to encourage engagement as well and to have, you know, people ask questions on the fly. But as always, I'm wondering what you guys are thinking. What do you think of Canva's presentation features? Now, if you happen to be new to Canva and you're wondering about all the other features, I've got a whole playlist full of them. You definitely want to check it out. I'll be sure to add them on the end screens. But for now, as I always say, get out there, hit record, and I'll see you when I see you.